In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record your own vocals in FL Studio. So let's get into it. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Warning Chip back with another video. So in this one, I'm going to be showing you how I can record what, how you can record your own vocals in FL Studio. So uh, it's a pretty easy process, but a lot of people don't actually know how to do it, which uh, is kind of confusing to me. Um, it's pretty easy, so I'm going to just show you how. I'm just going to quickly. Oh uh, yeah, show you guys how you can record your own vocals in FL Studio. Uh, get started in, uh, yeah, just started in your music career. So let's just hop into the main screen. Oh damn, it didn't work. Here we go. All right, so what you want to do? You want to press F9 on your keyboard, or uh, just come up here and press this uh, to bring up the mixer track. <laughs> and yeah uh it doesn't matter what track you do this but i'm just going to do it on a master for now <laughs> and yeah um so then what you want to do right is go here go like, like this and move. move all right so let me show you that again a bit more slowly so i'm going to click on track 20 i'm going to go up to here where it says none Okay, you can't really see it on my screen, which is kind of bad, but, um, yeah, sorry about that. You know, when I click up here, which says none, then you want to go and set your mic input. Um, you want to, I think you want to do the mono one, because most mics are in mono, I think, I really don't know. But yeah, so then you want to just select your input. So FL Studio ASI, AS, 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 uh, Anyway, that thing, the drivers basically, and you want to go mono for me at least, and then uh, and just click input one because that's the what my mic is on on my um, thingy. So click, click that, and yeah, and then you can see that it's the input. I just I'm it here so I can't hear myself. So yeah, that's so, so if you just. So if you just click this arrow up here, then it unroots it and you can't hear yourself, but you can also just turn down the mix knob. So yeah, it's kind of quiet, but as you can tell, it is delayed. Um, there's a way to fix the buffer rate, but I actually don't know it. Because I don't record, yeah, I need to know how to do that. But yeah, so that's how you record your vocals in FL Studio. yeah so i can't rap so it might not be a good idea for me to rap but yeah i need a um yeah so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna record something uh uh yeah just a little vocal melody or something and we're gonna make a bit out of it so let's go I think I'm gonna make a beat first and then I'm gonna um then and then I'll record a little melody over the top so let's go delete this we don't need that oh, let's go let's go make a beat let's go let's go
think we're just going to leave it like this, but we're going to get some bass notes down. So we're going to select them and then press shift and control down. And Melody is fire. Ooh. All right, cool. So what we're we gonna do? Gonna select all the velocities up. Press O, uh, O, uh, R, and then O S to randomize and strum, and then press O, and then just scroll wheel down, and then yeah. <laughs> Now I can get a vocal melody in my head, but uh, bear in mind, uh, I can't sing, so, um, but don't worry, I got free auto tune, which I showcased in the last video, but I think I'm going to use it again, but yeah, um, let's, let's, let's just get into it, so, let's put on song, by going up here and pressing song, there's also a shortcut, where is it, I think L, you press L and it switches between these two. So yeah, um, you got the mic input on one. If you hear it, here, here we, we go. go. All right, so let's get into it. Um, I just record a vocal melody. Uh, I don't know. I think I got something. Um, but yeah. Alright, cool. Let's just record it first and then I'll show you some little tricks on how to uh, clean up your audio with a cheaper mic, which I have here. This is like £30 for the whole set. So 
very cheap. Um, yeah, so some ways to clean up the audio, or yeah, and that. So let's just record it. Um, into. Oh no. Hey, few. <coughs> Damn. Always sneezing in his videos, man. But anyway, let's go. Stop the end, but it should be good. Let's cut this, take a little listen. First of all, I need a bit of noise for my microphone. So let's just go into Edison. Press uh, Shift E, and it comes up. Uh, Alright, cool. Let's just record on input. I need to put it on here. On input. Shift E again. Well, I mean... Shift E, enter, there we go. Uh, now you see it does that. So then. Yeah. Alright, cool. So now what we should have. Some noise. For my mic. Um, we're going to press this. To collect the noise profile, oh voice crack, damn. Um, then we're just gonna go in here and press Control E, and it'll bring it up into Edison. I think another Edison. I don't even know how I felt works to be honest with you. And what Edison did it open in? This one? Oh, right, in this one. So then we need to do select everything, and then just press this little brush. And we've already collected the noise profile of the mic buzzing. So now what we want to do is press Preview. <laughs> Then if we go here, you can't really hear it because it's not very really loud. But if we did normalize it, it would be very loud. So what we're gonna do is here and just bring it up to like around about halfway and press accept, and it'll just get rid of all the noise. And as you see here, there's less of uh, fuzz around it, so that means it's worked and there's no noise. <laughs> Oh, there's less noise. Oh, my bad. Anyway, we want to drag this out again and just delete this one. Delete this recording track because, I don't know, I don't like it, but it doesn't matter, to be honest. And then, cool, we can route this to, like, track maybe seven. Um, and then we can add, like, a pad here or something. Um, let's go here. And we're going to press normalize so we have more control over the sound. I like to make it louder and then just turn it down rather than... Um, yeah, just turning this all the way up and you still can't hear it. And as you can tell, it is off key by a lot. So then we need to go to auto tune. So there's either picture or um, M auto pitch. I'm gonna use M auto pitch because yeah. And I'm in D sharp minor, so that's what we click. And we're just gonna press these all the way up. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not a very good singer, so we're just going to pitch it down. And make it. That sounds a little bit better, but what about two? Alright, so one's good. That's something important as well. Um, if you're trying to do this and record vocal melodies and you can't actually sing, then you should probably pitch it down or up. Uh, if the auto tune still sounds a little bit off key, because if you're not singing not even in the right scale in the first place, then auto tune doesn't really help you. So yeah, just a little oh damn, just a little tip uh for you guys. 
Alright, cool. So I think I'm going to bounce this out because I want to delete the auto tune after. So we're just going to press OR and render it out. And then, yeah, we have this now. <laughs> time to add some effects so yeah just add some mm, I'm gonna add some super massive <laughs> bro I breathe a lot man damn Can put a crossfade on here. Oh, well, not, uh, gonna render this one out again so it's one full one oh damn one full and cool and then we can just delete Valhalla of seven bring it back to seven again and we can delete this it might sound cool actually doubled up but we're not gonna do it G snap oh that's another auto tune a free one but yeah I don't know anyway let's replace this Wait. Now to use up. Uh, anyway, and let's go. I kind of want to pitch it up. Sounds good there, but I might add a gross beat or something to just, you know. Spice up. Oh damn, I forgot. The most important thing is to add an EQ. Just gotta do it like this. And So now I can go to 20. Oh, it's already on none. Cool, cool. Um, Alright, let's just fix up. Let's remove a little bit of bass. Add some ice to vinyl. Add 
kickstart. Kickstart, you know, adds so much uh, movement to the melody, so you should definitely add that to all your melodies, like me, so yeah. Cool, that's about it honestly. I don't know. So that's how to record your vocals in FL Studio for uh yeah, just starting out. Don't really do anything complicated there, uh, it's quite easy within FL, so yeah. Um if you're starting out uh just as a rapper or just anyone, a singer, it doesn't matter. Um and you need some software to record your vocals, FL is a very uh yeah, it's just a good option. Other options are like Audacity and all that, but you know, FO is like, yeah, it's more versatile than something like Audacity, where you can like only record vocals. In this, you can make your song, you can edit everything. Um, so, in my opinion, it's better, but that's how to record it. Let's do a little quick recap of how to record your vocals in FO. So you want to do, you want to go to up here, it says none, all done. What you want to do is you want to go to mix a track, you want to select any track. I'm on 20 right now. And then what you want to do is uh, press oh wait, up here, it says none, it's a little drop down menu. If you have it in the right, um, yeah, if you have it attached to your interface, um, yeah. And then your mic should appear here. Then you just press whatever one's your mic. So I'm press one, pressed it, cool. I didn't actually want to press it because yeah, I don't want it to load up. Then you record your vocals. So recorded. No effects. Lit. And then you're like, oh, there's a lot of noise because my mic isn't that good. So then what you do, you press control E, boom. Opens up Edison. Then what you do, you go here, you find a little bit where your mic was, it's just your mic and the noise. And then what you do is uh, go here and uh, left click, right click my bad, um, you right click and it collects the noise profile. Then you cl left click on it, go up here where it says it's almost halfway, that's a usually a good amount. Then you just press accept and there's no noise and you can drag it back in boom right here it's there then you select to any mixer track and you add your effects uh, but you should definitely add this eq where you cut a little bit of the high cut a bit of the low um actually no you should just cut out the lows uh especially in male vocals highs are not too much um just maybe a little bit off the top but um, for me, I did this because it's more of a texture. I want it to be more ambient. But um, if you definitely want to probably leave it if you're recording vocals um, like uh, for a song rather than uh, just just to be there. And yeah, you do that. And yeah, then, then you're done. That's it. 
Uh, it's that simple to record your vocals in FL Studio. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe for more valuable content like this. Um, if you want a, a free old tune, I did a video so the card will pop up now. Uh, I don't know, where does it go? But anyway, yeah. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.